guys, it's Rachel here, and I'm here with a very exciting haul um, from one of my favorite places to shop. It's called the Buffalo Exchange. Okay, so if you guys don't know, the Buffalo Exchange is a consignment store similar to Plato's Closet or any other consignment store of that nature. And what you do is you can sell back your clothes and get store credit for new clothes or cash on the spot. Um, or you can just shop around and get discounted merchandise that has been sold to the store. So what I love about consignment stores like the Buffalo Exchange is you can get brand, you can get new um, wardrobe pieces that have been previously loved, um, but are really inexpensive. So you can be constantly updating your wardrobe and not spending a lot of money. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips before I start the haul um, for shopping at consignment stores like the Buffalo Exchange or like a Play-Doh closet. Um, my first tip is that you have to be patient. Um, it's really difficult to find things at stores like this, but it's not impossible. Um, you can find some amazing treasures at stores like this, but uh, you have to be patient and you kind of have to dig around. So if that's not your thing, then try a different store. Um, but if you, if you like the thrill of the hunt, then somewhere like Buffalo Exchange is perfect for you because um, you can rummage through all the different stuff they have. Um, stuff from J. Crew, or maybe it's from Old Navy, maybe it's from Forever 21, maybe it's designer, you don't know, it's all there together, um, it's all inexpensive, so I would say bring a friend, get a lot of things to try on, because they don't have different sizing, because it's just kind of random, so you can't try on a dress in, in two different sizes, but, so you want to try on a lot of different things, and find the things that really work for you, and got, buy them, and maybe once you've used them and worn them, um, you can sell them back and it makes it really easy to constantly update your wardrobe. So um, another great tip for shopping at consignment stores is to get to know the staff. Um, the people at places like this are usually really nice. I know the people that work at the Brooklyn Buffalo Exchange are so nice and I've become friends with a lot of them and they get the first dibs on all the clothes there. So if you um, create a relationship with them, they um, might help you find where the best things are or save a couple things for you um, once they get to know your style. So um, just ask ask how something looks on you, you know, start a conversation and it's really easy to make friends at, um, you know, those stores. So I'm going to get started with the haul. Um, I've gotten so much great stuff here over the summer. Um, since I'm new to YouTube, I'm doing things from, you know, a couple weeks back um, because I've never done a Buffalo Exchange haul. So don't think that you know, I just go out and buy all this stuff every day. I don't. Um, but I wanted to show you some great choices for back to school and fall clothing. Um, so the first thing is a really great skirt. Ooh, let me get it up. Um, it has really cute pleats. Um, so it kind of has like a schoolgirl look, but I love the color. Um, it's really unique. It's kind of like a rusty, um, deep brown shade. I don't know why my lighting just changed. Anyway, but it has um, a really cool, you know, color, and it's like a perfect fall color. It's like the color of the falling leaves. So um, what I would pair this with is something like this um, top that I'm actually wearing, um, something neutral like a gray or a black um, or even a brown. So, But I would love this outfit with this gray top, um, some black tights, and some, some brown boots, um, and maybe a boyfriend cardigan if it starts to get cold, maybe in black. Um, the next thing I've worn in one of my Outfit of the Day videos, and it's this really cute dress. Um, what I love about this dress is it, it has the shape of a sundress, um, as you can tell, um, but the colors make it really appropriate for fall. As you can see, it has some of those crisp pink and greens and the black background, cream colors. So what you can do is you can just throw on a pair of tights, a pair of boots, maybe a leather jacket, and it's really easy to wear this into the fall. Um, the next thing is this red blazer. As you can see, the tag's still on there because I haven't worn it. It's been really hot in New York. See, Buffalo Exchange, it was only $14, which is such a steal for a blazer. Um, so it's a red blazer, and it has a little bit of shoulder pad in the top, which is really in. That kind of strong, structured shoulder is really popular for fall. So what's great about a piece like this is it's really easy to pair um, with the neutrals you already have in your closet. Um, this will look great with skinny jeans, um, even a little black dress. You know, you can pair it with a lot of different things, um, but it's always classic. So um, this is a real keeper. 
but it's really bold and bright, so that's why I love it. I love red. Um, the next thing is a dress. Um, I would consider it to be a tunic. You can wear it as a dress. Um, here's the print. It's really cute. It has these little sleeves, which I like, because it's a little shorter, so you, it's nice to have a little bit of a sleeve when um, your dress is shorter. Um, and it has a little cute button on the sleeve, a little silver button. Um, and the cutest part, in my opinion, is the back. It has a really cool back detail. If you don't know, I'm really, really like back details. So anyway, um, what I would wear this in the fall with is, again, some tights and maybe a leather jacket, maybe a cardigan, um, some boots or some little booties. Um, so it's really great. Um, or you can dress it up and wear some, you know, high heels. So it's a really versatile piece, and it'll even look great with the red blazer, which is great. So, um, the next thing I got, these are so cute. Um, they're little boots. Um, they're like kind of a camel suede tone, um, and they have a little bit of a heel. Let me show one. Um, and kind of like a Western-inspired pattern on the front. And these, that whole Western look is definitely in for um, the fall season, as is this um, nice camel color. And these are super comfortable. So what I love is that it has a little bit of a heel, but it's a strong, sturdy, thick heel. So, you know, I could wear this to class, um, and it's not too uncomfortable to walk around in. So it's really great. Pair it with some tights, pair it with skinny jeans, and you really have a great look. What I also love is it, it's lined in kind of a fleece, so it's definitely warm. Um, you could wear it with, you know, over-the-knee socks. There's so many options with a boot like this because it's really versatile and the color goes with so many different things. These boots are originally from Kenzie, which is one of my favorite brands. Um, these boots retail for about $100, um, but I got them at the Buffalo Exchange for $28.50. What a steal. I almost bought these on, at full price. That's why I know, because I almost bought these at Macy's. Um, and the last thing is my favorite thing. Um, I've mentioned this in a video before, but this is like, oh, my favorite thing ever. It is a mustard color, colored skirt. Um, it has little pockets in the front, slant pockets, which I like. Um, here they are. But the back has a black exposed zipper, and exposed zippers are so in right now. Um, and I think that they are so cute. So this skirt is from um, Philip Lim. If you don't know, Philip Lim is a very famous designer. And a skirt like this would retail for about $200 at somewhere like um, Neiman Marcus or Barney's and this skirt was only $40 at the Buffalo Exchange and this is such a great piece um, it's definitely a statement piece you can wear it with what I like to wear it with is like a kind of a black um, scoop neck leotard style top and then black snakeskin pumps but you can also dress it down um, with maybe um, a gray t-shirt and then flats and maybe a trench coat so it has a lot of um, versatility and then, so those are the things that I got at the Buffalo Exchange. If you guys have any questions about shopping at a consignment store, please comment below. I'm going to make a video soon about savvy shopping tips, so don't worry. Um, I'll definitely have more of those for you guys. But please comment. Um, tell me what was your favorite thing. Um, tell me what you're looking forward to wearing this fall. Um, thumbs up, and please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.